Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can access the options in PowerPoint to change operational aspects of the program. Note that changing the default options in PowerPoint can change the default behavior of the program and therefore should only be performed by advanced users who thoroughly understand the options. In this lesson, we will review some of the most commonly used options in PowerPoint. Some of these options have already been discussed at various points in the tutorial in the context of their use within the application. You can access the default options in PowerPoint 2010 by clicking the File tab within the ribbon and then clicking the Options button in the lower left corner of the Command Panel. You can access the default options in PowerPoint 2007 by clicking the Microsoft Office button and then clicking the PowerPoint Options button in the lower right corner of the Command Panel. Now in the PowerPoint Options dialog box, you begin by clicking on the name of an option category shown in the list of categories at the left side of the window. The options that you can then set for the selected category will appear in the right pane of the window. Note that many of the options are self-explanatory. However, some of the options that may need some explanation appear within the options section with a small I at the right end. If you hold your mouse pointer over the I icon, a screen tip will appear that gives you a bit more information on the use of that option. If you click the general category, or the popular category as it's called in 2007, you will see some of the most frequently changed options in PowerPoint displayed in the right side of the window. You can check or uncheck the checkboxes shown to enable or disable the features shown. Also, you can customize your copy of PowerPoint by entering your username and initials into the text boxes provided. If you click the Proofing category, you will see default proofing options. These options control the behavior of tools such as autocorrect and the spelling and grammar tool. You can check or uncheck the options here to change the settings used by these tools when proofing presentation content. If you click the Save category, you will see options that allow you to change how presentations are saved by default in PowerPoint. These options may be accessed more often than before in PowerPoint 2010 and 2007 since it uses a new default file format when saving presentations. In the Save Presentations section, you can use the Save Files in this Format drop-down to set the default presentation format to use when saving PowerPoint presentations. You can also set the default behavior of the Auto Recover feature, choosing how often this information is saved and where the information is saved. Also, when saving your presentations, you can set a new default folder to which you can save the presentations. If you click the Advanced category, you will see many of the advanced options for all categories. Each set of advanced options is grouped together by subcategory at the right side of this panel. You can check or uncheck the checkboxes to enable or disable the features shown within each section. Once you've set the options that you would like, just click the OK button to set the new default options for PowerPoint. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.